What could be the reasons behind someone's wealth? Some people write a rags to riches story for themselves, and others are born with a silver spoon in their mouths. Nonetheless, everyone has dreamt of being a billionaire at least once in their lives. But becoming a billionaire is not the end game. Most people who amass billions of dollars also need to have the business skills to maintain their fortune, or else the downfall from billionaire to bankruptcy is a quick and humiliating one. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, let's take a look at some hero to zero cases where an individual's net worth plummeted to almost nothing. Make sure to avoid the trajectories these people chose if you want to rise financially. But wait, we also have a heartfelt story in the video that will inspire you. So watch the video till the end and find that needle in the haystack. Number 10. Bernie Ebers WorldCom seemed to be a successful telecom business in the late 1990s, and its CEO, Bernie Ebers, had a net worth of $1.4 billion. But it was all just a facade. Due to inaccurately stated profits and the misclassification of billions of dollars in expenses as investments, WorldCom's profits were wildly inflated, which raised the company's worth. Total accounting errors of $11 billion were found in WorldCom. Ebers received a 25-year prison term for his contribution to the failure of the business. However, he was freed in late 2019 after his attorneys claimed his health was declining. Ebers passed away in February 2020, meaning they appeared to be telling the truth at that time. Number 9. Jocelyn Wildenstein After collecting an estimated $2.5 billion in a divorce settlement from her ex-art dealer husband Alex Wildenstein, Jocelyn Wildenstein became a billionaire. She has received the nickname Catwoman due to her frequent appearances in media for her infamous spending habits and costly cosmetic procedures. She admitted to reporters that some pieces owned by her art trust were found to be fake or to be worth far less than anticipated, which caused her net worth to drop. Jocelyn had additional difficulties because she's been the target of numerous lawsuits and foreclosures. In 2018, Wildenstein filed for bankruptcy, alleging she had zero cash on hand. Burning through $2.5 billion may sound like a significant accomplishment, but in comparison to some other people on this list, it's actually relatively modest. Number 8. Björgolfer Gudmundsson In 2008, Björgolfer Gudmundsson served as the chairman and the main shareholder of Iceland's second largest bank. But everyone is aware of what occurred in the world in 2008. The banking system was affected by the recession, and Gudmundsson's Icelandic government took control of the business, wiping off his entire fortune. Poor fellow. He declared bankruptcy, admitting that he owed hundreds of millions of dollars. Gudmundsson was compelled to sell the West Ham United Football Club in London in order to pay off his debts. West Ham is a Premier League soccer team. Later in 2008, his net worth dropped to zero, and he abruptly disappeared off the list of billionaires. Number 7. Adolf Merkel Adolf Merkel transformed his modest family firm in Germany into a vast corporate empire that employed 100,000 people and over 100 different corporations. The result was a $9 billion increase in his net worth. His investing company, though, filed for bankruptcy. By shorting Volkswagen shares, Merkel personally suffered millions of euros in losses. Sadly, he killed himself in 2009. His investment company, VEM, owed banks billions of dollars at the time. Number 6. Bill Wang One of the most recent billionaires to lose everything is Bill Wang. His heavily leveraged market bets failed in March 2021. Loans were utilized by Wang's private investment company, Archegos Capital Management, to wager on the stock prices of different media businesses, including Viacom, CBS, and Discovery Inc., which had lately declined in value after inflating their estimated worth in 2021. When the brokers issued margin calls, Archegos was obliged to liquidate several of its positions totaling close to $30 billion in value since it had defaulted. The stock price decreased much more as a result of it. According to reports, Wang's irrational judgments have caused brokers like Credit Suisse and Nomura to anticipate billions of dollars in losses. The number of Wang's losses cannot be calculated because he admitted guilt to insider trading charges in 2012 and paid a $44 million settlement to the SEC. One of the biggest losses of personal riches in history occurred to Wang. Wang's net worth was approximately $10 billion before these margin calls, and the firm's stake was approximately $100 billion. 
money that ultimately disappeared into thin air. Number 5. Vijay Malya At the age of 28, Vijay Malya, an Indian millionaire, took over his father's liquor company and expanded it into a massive enterprise with a $1.5 billion net worth. He later assumed control of Kingfisher Airlines, but in order to keep the business solvent, he ran up significant debt. He was charged with fraud and money laundering totaling $1.3 billion in 2012. In 2016, Malia left India for the UK and was sought by creditors. In October 2020, the UK Ministry of External Affairs advised the Indian authorities that Malia would not be sent back to India until a secret legal matter was settled. Malia had been fighting extradition in British court since 2018. Only Vijay and the government know the full extent of his corrupt dealings. Number 4. Bernie Madoff The most notorious scam artist, Bernie Madoff, will go down in history. Madoff oversaw the biggest Ponzi scheme in history, which cheated investors out of an estimated $17.5 billion. According to reports, trustees were able to collect $13 billion of the stolen money. Karma has caught up with this mastermind and he is serving a federal prison term of 150 years. Early in 2020, he asked for a compassionate release, claiming kidney failure had given him less than two years to live. After his request was denied, he was forced to pay for his misdeeds and serve the remainder of his life behind bars. Number 3. Elizabeth Holmes After her healthcare technology company Theranos was valued at $9 billion and generated significant profits, American inventor and entrepreneur Elizabeth Holmes became the youngest self-made female billionaire in the world in 2015. When Holmes' name appeared on the Times 2015 list of the 100 most influential people, she suddenly became a household name. However, her time as a billionaire was short-lived as a federal investigation hung over her business amid allegations that it had misled investors about a novel groundbreaking blood testing method. These accusations did significant damage to her reputation and wealth. Fortune called Holmes one of the world's most disappointing leaders, while Forbes pronounced her personal wealth to be worthless. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services also barred her from holding any position in her company for two years. Recently, after months of trial, Holmes was found guilty and will be sentenced on September 26, 2022. Her net worth no longer gives her billionaire status. Number 2. Alan Stanford Despite not having the same level of notoriety as Bernie Madoff, Alan Stanford similarly made and lost money in a Ponzi scheme. He duped almost 18,000 individuals, many of whom were retirees of their savings. His reports claim that his fraud brought in more than $7 billion. Stanford's total worth was indeed wiped off when authorities learned about his deception. He was later given a 110-year prison term for his involvement in the scam. In contrast to Madoff's case, only a small number of Stanford's victims have had their money back. For our number one individual on this list, we have someone who balances the evilness that we saw within the majority of our picks today. If you've enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like it and share it with others. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to keep up with the latest videos on the channel. Number 1. Chuck Feeney Chuck Feeney stands apart from other billionaires who have lost their wealth because his substantial wealth was meticulously planned. With an $8 billion net worth, Feeney founded the well-known airport business Duty Free Shoppers. He decided to donate practically all of his wealth throughout his last 40 years or more to various domestic and international charities and humanitarian projects. With the exception of retirement assets for him and his wife, Feeney shut down his charitable organization in September 2020 after donating all of his wealth. That perfectly illustrates philanthropy in action. On that note, we will take your leave. Stay safe, make a lot of money, and don't mismanage it, unless you want to end up in our next video. LOL Let us know some other billionaires that toppled over their ladder of riches in the comments section. We hope you took away some valuable lessons from this video. Thanks.